Welcome, my dear friends, to our time of devotional reflection for Friday, March the 1st, 2024. And I pray you're having a great first day of March, wherever you are. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. And I'm here to read today's entry from the book, Hearing God Throughout the Year, a 365-day devotional. It's written by Dallas Willard, with the help of Jan Johnson, based on Dallas Willard's book, Hearing God. Today's entry is entitled, Beyond the Natural. From the scriptures we read, For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. But you are not in the flesh, you are in the Spirit since the Spirit of God dwells in you. That's from the letter to the Romans, Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 8, verses 5 and verse 9, from the New Revised Standard Version. Contrary to nature, Abraham fathered Isaac, the son of promise and spirit, with Sarah. It was achieved through the energy of the Spirit who was beyond Abraham and Sarah. At an earlier time, Abraham and Hagar quite naturally begat Ishmael through the mere energies of their bodies. Read Galatians chapter 4, verses 22 and 28, which explains this. A life with effects beyond the natural, that is, the flesh, always depends upon intimate interactions between us and God. Who is therefore present. These interactions occur in those who set their minds on the things of the Spirit. Then the Spirit of God dwells in them and supernatural results come to pass. Meditate on this. Again, read Romans chapter 8 verses 5 to 11 aloud slowly. In what situation are you living by the flesh, your natural abilities? If you were living by the Spirit instead, how would things be different? How would you pray differently about people involved in that situation? How would you study differently or worship differently? What might you need to confess? Dear friends, as always, I commend you for having taken just a few minutes out of your day to listen to me read one of these devotional reflections written by Dallas Willard and Jan Johnson. Uh, It's a great pleasure and blessing for me to be able to do that. Now, I've taken the title and the opening scriptures, and I'll also put in the reference to the Galatians passage, and also the instructions about reflection. And I'll put those in the description of this video so that you can follow along and do the work, the discipleship work, of considering these ideas. And I pray that you will do that. And I also pray that you'll be with me tomorrow when I'll read the next entry uh, from Hearing God Throughout the Year. Until then, may you go in the grace and the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.